The way India was set up, healthcare was a social responsibility. But soon after independence, it went on a path of both public healthcare and private healthcare. Both would coexist. The private hospitals, under strict regulation, made money and the public system provided for the poor. The quality of the public healthcare system was such that nobody with money would go to a hospital which had poor facilities. They would rather go to an excellent facilities hospital. People paid through their nose, but healthcare was better. But the pandemic changed everything. Health wasn't just a small hiccup. It was a life and death situation. This time around, for once in a century event, people seemed to have kept profits at the center of their existence, from testing, medication, all the way to the vaccine. The tests that cost about 100 to 150 rupees were doled out for as much as 2400 rupees. Just whatever businesses thought they could charge. Medications sold at all kinds of crazy prices. Let's take an example of ivermectin. Strip off ivermectin cost rupees 10 in manufacturing. It was selling in pharmacies for rupees 350. Some medication that wasn't even effective for the disease was still being used. Let us not forget the vaccine. They have become the golden goose that will continue to pay these profit seekers long term. The cost of the vaccine was about Rs. 150 a dose, but private hospitals were administrating it for 1,200 rupees. More than a billion people are to be vaccinated, which means more than 2 billion doses. The profit seekers are not just private hospitals, but also government officials and politicians. When people can't get access to the vaccine in government facilities, they're forced to go to private clinics. They're trying to save themselves. So if you log into the Coven portal, you will see the government has set up almost like a sales center for these private clinics. Most government facilities do not have vaccines available. This is where the commissions kick in. India has been able to vaccinate only 3.6% of its population. It is a large country. And it's possible to vaccinate quickly. There is no excuse. If you're not capable of administering and delivering to the population size of 1.3 billion, then don't take the responsibility on. Scientists tell you the speed at which the vaccines have to be delivered. 40% of the population should have been vaccinated after the first wave to prevent a deadlier second wave. 70% after the second wave to prevent damage in the third wave. People have been too busy setting up their commissions. Making money is not a bad thing. But creating circumstances so that people have to choose between life and money is the failure of the Indian administration in delivering health over connivance with private medical care will go down in history as the failure of a government in a land that has been known for centuries to be a civilization to be reckoned with.